Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is our first video of 2022 so happy new year to all. I wish you health, happiness and success always. Now today's video is about a new policy that's just been passed in China uh, from GAS, the General Administration of Sport in China which basically um, prohibits the Chinese football national team players from getting uh, tattoos. Now there are existing players right now who already have tattoos and those players have been told to remove the tattoos or to cover them up. It's not so much for them because they'll be covering them up, it's more for the younger generation coming up. So from the U20 and U23 setup, um, so the youth ranks of the next Chinese football national team players are prohibited from having any tattoos and this will be like the prerequisite for players who are being selected as well that they don't have any. Now this is the topic that we'll be discussing today, let's dive into it. Why did they enforce this new policy? Now in order to understand why we need to understand the culture, it's a cultural thing as well like massively because uh, Chinese culture is very strong in tradition, in values, in history, you know over 5,000 years of history and all these result in having a traditional uh, society. They started saying that no we need to start covering them up because we don't want those showcased on TV and maybe affect uh, the new generation coming up. They want to preserve their values and their historical background and traditions and teach these things to the next generation. From the report that they wrote, they mainly said that we want the new players and the existing players who are playing for the national team to set a good example for the society. And who is the West to tell them what to do? This is their country, their policies, their decision. And if that's what they want to teach their current players and the new players coming up, then it's their right and freedom to do so. And no one could judge upon that. So uh, my understanding is that they're trying to preserve the culture and um, there's nothing wrong with that. Next part is about the naturalized uh, football players who play for the Chinese national team like the Brazilian Elkerson and um, Nico Yenaris, also known as Lika, who his dad is Greek Cypriot but his mom's got Chinese ancestry and a few other Brazilian players who are basically naturalized in order to enhance China's chances of making it to another World Cup because the president of China Xi Jinping loves football and what he wants to achieve is during his era he wants to see China make it to another World Cup because last time they made it was back in 2002 in uh, Japan and Korea and they haven't made it to another major tournament like a World Cup like that ever since so that's one of his dreams and I think that's a beautiful thing Nico Yenaris he had a whole sleeve I'll post pictures here so you can see a whole sleeve of tattoos so they knew these things before they naturalized and picked them but what I'm trying to say here is that the policies in China change quite frequently so back in the day it wasn't a big thing when they first got picked then the policy changed and then we're like you need to cover up and now the policies changed again and it's saying that it prohibits them from getting any new tattoos it didn't ban these players from playing for the national team they'll very much be a big part of the national team they just can't get any new ones and if they have existing ones they're saying you need to remove them or cover them up so they'll be basically covering them up let's be honest let's look at the image that this decision portrays to the people of China and to the people in the West let's make a small comparison so for the Chinese people this new policy portrays a traditional society built on strong culture and values trying to maintain those whereas for the West it might have been seen as an old-school decision because tattoos right now are widely accepted um, in the police in uh, schools like teachers can have tattoos football players so they don't need to cover them up and I'll post pictures here so you can see so it's a different culture and a different understanding of these but this doesn't mean that tattoos aren't popular in China they are they're actually widely popular in China um, especially um, for the, the younger generation now coming up I see loads of people even my age in the 30s have loads of tattoos but if more and more jobs 
like now within football they kind of like prohibit them and then I think more and more people in China will think twice about getting them because then it will kind of like limit their chances of getting a specific job why people get tattoos in the first place both in China the West every every place in the world I'm heavily tattooed myself and I've got over 60 tattoos on my body and I post a few videos and pictures here so you guys can see then my I'll tell you my experience first I get them because they represent things like family background heritage people I love uh, things I love doing and when I see those tattoos it's not only a form of art and something that looks good on the eye at least in my opinion um, it also represents things that I love and respect in my life and things that you know represent me my left sleeve for example i have family related tattoos and things to do with my british and greek heritage and then on my right side i have things um, like the chinese dragon or like chendu pandas of me and my wife basically which represents chendu because i love this place most people when they get a tattoo they normally get it because it means something to them and other people uh, might get some tattoos not because something has a, a great meaning to them but because they just like the art of uh, and the way that a tattoo looks like and this is the same in China as well people get tattoos for the same exact reasons the last five or six years there's been many high profile football names like Hulk and Oscar from Brazil Carlos Tevez from Argentina and many more who have come to China to play football and basically make money make bank recently there's been a salary cap introduced in China because many teams were going bankrupt because they were playing all these uh, foreign players loads and loads of money and in general their expenditure was so much compared to what they were making back that it was hurting Chinese football now and in the long run and if we compare the Chinese national football team compared to like countries like um, South Korea and Japan whereas their football teams uh, make it to most of the you know World Cup tournaments then they were like, well, why are we paying like three times more money in our uh, Chinese Super League than what they are paying in South Korea and Japan? And we're not really benefiting from this um, within our national team also. So I think it was a good decision. And the salary cap is capped around $3.3 million um, uh, annually per contract. So that's the highest they can make. Now, if there's a player here who had signed from before the salary cap was introduced, they can see out their contract and then the new contract wouldn't be uh, as high as the previous one. It would be capped. Um, and because there's been mistakes obviously done in the past whereas like example Carlos Tevez came to China and as he named it he came on holiday you know he made so much money I think his contract was worth some like 40 million dollars annually or something like that he only played like something like under 20 games uh, and then he he went back to Argentina they're going towards the right direction to have a sustainable uh, football league Chinese football did try to emulate the way that the West works and runs the football business it just didn't work well in China and um, what they're trying to do now with this salary cap of 3.3 million dollars maximum uh, every year annually for the players and um, you know putting more money in towards uh, the grassroots football for academies for like the the next generation to have better facilities to become better football players this will only help Chinese football and it will you know keep it sustainable for the future and hopefully we can see China make it to a World Cup again they don't want to be influenced by the West and they don't want to be influenced by anyone else my understanding is they just want to do it their way and there's nothing wrong with that let's make a conclusion and as I've got previous uh, professional uh, football experience and uh, having played for a number of pro clubs and also for the Greek national team under 17s and under 19s I'll post a few pictures here although my hair was a little bit weird back then I want to say that prohibiting the players from getting tattoos or getting any new ones doesn't improve their skills or technique no and I think most people will agree with this but I totally understand the reason why this policy has been put in play because um, you know if you come here and live in China you'll still see that it's a very uh, traditional society and um, basically people are really really proud to be Chinese and there's nothing wrong with that at all and what this new policy wants to do is educate the new up-and-coming generation um, of all the values and they want to maintain these values throughout the years to come and they want to portray an image to the Chinese people and to the people abroad that they value 
all these things highly and that they are so important for them and their society. This is my understanding of it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Does this decision make the team better uh, or the reasons why you think this has happened? Uh, I'll be very interested to see uh, your comments and as always like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one guys. Take care. Peace.